Hey everybody, welcome to day seven of the Pilates Challenge. Uh, we are Reform Physical Therapy and Pilates in Cleveland, Ohio. I know you guys have covered um, in the first days one through six, both um, some specific body parts and kind of the basic exercises that go with those as well as the um, kind of core principles that Pilates, Pilates is based on. So today we're gonna do a full body workout. It'll just be a couple exercises from everything you've learned through the week. So let's get started. We're gonna start on our back. Our feet are right behind, or kind of right in line with our hips. Our arms are down. We're gonna start with some bridging. So just breathe in first, and then exhale, tilt that pelvis back. Start to roll through your back, lifting your butt up off the mat to onto those shoulder blades. Breathe in at the top, and then exhale, soften from here. Kind of lower down one rib at a time until your butt's back on the mat. Good, breathe in again. Exhale, curl yourself back, lift up, reaching your knees nice and long towards the wall in front of you, and then soften and lower back down. We're gonna do just one more. This time we're gonna hold it up there for a second and do a couple little dips. So breathe in, exhale, curl yourself up. Hold at the top to breathe in. We're gonna dip six times. So drop and up, two, three, squeeze your glutes, four, five, and six, and curl yourself down one rib at a time. Good, from here we're gonna just warm up our abs a little bit, so you're gonna bring those hands behind your head. We're just gonna do a chest lift. Remember, it's not a crunch, you don't have to bring your head down, and you don't pull on your neck, you leave those elbows nice and wide, breathe in, exhale, curl yourself up, kind of keeping that eye gaze towards the ceiling, and then lower yourself down. So you're just kind of trying to clear your shoulder blades, breathe in, exhale, pick yourself up off the mat, breathe in at the top, and exhale, lower. Good, we're gonna go into the 100 from here, but we're only gonna do 50 because we're on a time crunch here. Lower yourself down, bring those legs up into tabletop. We're gonna start from here. Hands come up to the ceiling. Shoulders are kind of pressed down into the mat. Breathe in, exhale, curl yourself up. Leave your knees in tabletop, and we're gonna pulse. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Let's add your legs. So go ahead and kick them out to whatever level you can tolerate, keeping your back nice and steady. Abs pulled in. Let's do one more set. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, knees will come in, hands come up, head comes down. Good, we're gonna go from here. We're gonna roll onto our side. So from a sideline position, I want you to bend that bottom knee. Keep your ribs nice and elevated, that elbow is right under the shoulder. We're just gonna do some leg lifts. You learned this in one of the other days. So you're gonna just pick that heel up towards the back and towards the ceiling and back down. So up and down. The motion comes straight out of your hip and not out of your back. You're staying tall through those ribs. You bring that hand up to the hip if you want. Let's just do one more. Good, now we're gonna do some leg circles. So you're gonna flex that foot. We're gonna like use your heel like it's like riding on the wall. Do little backward circles, again, right from your hip, nice and steady through your core. There's four and five, switch directions, up one, two, three, four, and five. Good, we're gonna switch sides. So you're gonna come up to the center, turn the other direction, find your good position, that bottom leg bends, you're tall through your ribs, elbow under shoulder, pick that leg up, you come up into your leg lift, and back down. And two, and three, and four, just one more, and five. Staying tall in those ribs, don't sink down into it. Let's do your circles. Flex that foot right on the wall. Forward circle, one, two, three, four, five, and now switch it backward. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, we're gonna transition onto our belly. Okay, so we're gonna start with some airplane. So you're gonna take your arms out to the side, your head comes down to the mat, and you're looking one direction, we're gonna switch directions with our head with each pickup. Your belly draws in, so even though you're lying down, I want you to feel like you're lifting that belly up off the mat. We'll breathe in first, we exhale, we lift our arms, we lift our legs, our heads come to the center, and then we come back down to the mat and inhale. We exhale and lift, we keep those shoulders down out of our ears, inhale, return. Exhale and lift, the head comes to the center. Your head just follows your spine. You don't have to pick it up towards the ceiling. One more, exhale and lift. Inhale, come down, 
Good, we're just gonna come up and hold it there in the center. I want you to breathe in. Now exhale, take those hands up to the overhead. Your palms face each other, they come back down into airplane. Come up overhead and back down. One more time, up overhead, palms face each other. Big deep breath in. I want you to exhale, come straight down and get ready for swimming. So our head is facing the mat. We're gonna pick up into our swimming position. Our shoulder blades are down our back and we're just gonna swim nice and steady. Again, our belly is pulled up off the mat. We're alternating our arm and leg kicks for 20 seconds. And you're, all that motion is coming from your shoulders and hips and not from your spine. Three, two, and one, and relax. All right, we're gonna switch back to our backs. Okay, so from our back, we're gonna start with just a couple of the ab series. So draw your belly muscles up and in towards those ribs, stabilize through your core, lift your left leg, and then keeping that stable, add your right leg to it. We're gonna take our hands overhead. We're gonna start with single knee stretch. Big deep breath in, I want you to exhale, bring those arms down, curl your head and shoulders up. And we're gonna start with that right leg. So you pull that right leg in, you kick your left one out, that knee comes towards your chest, and then you switch. And switch, and switch, and switch. Four, three, two, and one. Good, knees come right here. We're gonna go into double knee stretch. So both arms and legs come out. We swing around and we grab them again. Out and around. Here's three, we have three more. Four, five, and six. So we hug them in, bring your head down, go ahead and lower your legs. We have one more thing, we're just gonna transition into a sitting position. So go ahead and roll over, push yourself up. Our legs are gonna be out the width of the mat, feet are flexed. Take those arms out to the side. We're just gonna start with a spine twist. So big deep breath in. I want you to exhale, twist to your right, keeping your hips level. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, twist to the left, driving that right hip back into the socket so you don't move those legs. One more time. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale to the center. And exhale, twist left. Inhale, come to the center. Good, take those hands straight in front of you. We're gonna do spine stretch forward. Big deep breath in. Drop your head, round your shoulders. This is not a hamstring stretch. Just stretch that spine. Reach those hands towards your toes. And inhale, come back up, stack that spine. From bottom to top, big deep breath in. Exhale, drop your head, round your shoulders. Reach forward. And inhale at the bottom, exhale, stack up. Good, last thing to stretch out. Come into your mermaid. Just spin around, left leg in front, right leg in back, arms out to the side. I want you to drop that left, take your right up and over, that right hip can come off the mat. Inhale, pull back to center. Exhale, that right comes on your lap, your hips stay down and your left comes up overhead. One more time, inhale up, make that spine nice and tall, and exhale over, hip can come up. Now root those hips to the mat, and exhale into that counter stretch. Good. we have to switch sides. Right comes in front, left goes behind, arms out, big deep breath in, get nice and tall through that spine, and then exhale, drop your right to the mat, left comes over, inhale back, and exhale, counter stretch with those hips down. Last time, inhale up, big tall spine, exhale over, inhale back, and exhale, right hand over your head, and back to the center, and we're done. We hope you enjoyed the challenge, great job.